Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to go ahead and show you my Mayflash Max Shooter setup. Um, so this is what I'm playing on right now. Um, I don't usually play on this because it's just uncomfortable. As you can see, my feet do not go under, so it's a little difficult to play. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the Mayflash. Okay, so this, oops, there goes my controller. This is the actual Mayflash Max Shooter one. It's sort of small. Um, it feels a little undurable it's sort of weird um so down here as you can see we have the two ports for the keyboard and mouse they can go in either way um i have my mouse plugged in here and my keyboard plugged in here and there they are both set up um here is where you plug in your controller you have to have a micro usb which a micro usb is what you use to charge your controller so this is right this right here i plug it into here and then i have my controller right here and it's connected to it. Your controller has to be connected to use it. Um, and also, you cannot plug your microphone into your controller. You have to plug it into the Mayflash, which has a slot for it. Also, there is a vibration thing um, that you can put it on the other side that senses vibrations for you, which is sort of helpful in a game like Rainbow. Um, also, uh. To change controls, I don't know if any of y'all want to see this, but I'm going to do it anyways. To change controls, what you're going to do is when you when you plug everything in, you're going to click this home button, and you see it's going to pop up with this screen. I'm going to click space, and I have 10 profiles to choose from. My main profile is all F3. That's my rainbow controls. Um, that's how I get to there. And then to change controls, all I have to do is hold escape, click the key I want to change, and then click the key again. So... I just changed my W back to W. So let me show you. Escape. I'm going to change W to the same thing. W. So now it's I can change it to whatever. And I click W again. It's W. Um, also, let's see. Um, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of macros on this thing as well. Uh, if I click home and I click any button on my keyboard, uh, it's a rapid fire. There's a rapid fire mod. Um, that shoots pistols and anything that's semi-auto automatic also for slow shooting guns like Capitao's, Caveras, uh, submachine gun and Capitao's AR and Frost's sub. Um, it shoots that at the same speed with less recoil. So I think that really helps. Um, also, it's one USB. The cord is 10 foot, so it's very long. And it plugs right into your PS4. You can't see that the, the lighting sort of bad in here. Um... So yeah, that's it. Um, here's my dog. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you set it up. So you get things going. Oh, oh, I want to about the sensitivity. So for sensitivity, you hold Alt. My sensitivity is on Alt four. So Alt four. That's my sensitivity for dead zone. Dead zone is the time it takes for the uh, the mouse the mouse to register. So on nine, it's on the lowest react. It'll react really late. Which I honestly don't like. I play on the lowest. I play on escape one. So the dead zone's so low it reacts immediately. Um, it also lower your sensitive it also lowers your sensitivity a bit because it's reacting right away. Um, let's see. Like I said, you got ten profiles to choose from. The reason I'm not using F2 is because I messed the profile up. And I don't want to change it because I did something that's a permanent mod and I can't undo it. Also, you can download something on your computer that will let you update it as well. You can change the controls, and you can split keys on your computer, which I never knew. So if you want to be able to split keys, do it on your computer. I'm sorry. I don't have a computer right now, so I can't show you that. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna be making a rainbow video here coming up. It's going to be a great video. i got a lot of – you have two 1v5 so far. Don't worry. I'll rank clips like usual. And uh, – Okay, this is, that's the Mayflash Max Shooter 1 for you.